Hello, this is the guide for Blackwing Descent, 25 man heroic, located here in Black Rock Mountain. Make sure your difficulty is on heroic and legacy raid sizes 25 player. This first boss is very easy. I don't think you can do anything wrong to kill yourself or fail, other than jumping off the edge, of course. These trash mobs stun you if you don't kill them before the boss, but you can get away with killing them while you kill the boss. It's very easy, first boss. So you just pull the boss, pop all your cooldowns, blow him up, and he dies very quickly. And every time you kill a boss, it resets all your major cooldowns. For some reason, on the Druid, it doesn't reset Stampeding Roar. But it does reset Dash, and you can dash from boss to boss. Every time you kill a boss, you can dash again. Making Druids one of the faster classes you can... Uh, clear these raids on. This next boss is also very easy. It's hard to hard to screw up. You can just kill him. I highly recommend getting a 700 item level before doing any of these. It just makes it faster and easier. And you can get it just by farming battlegrounds and That'll be a 700 item level very quickly. So you loot these guys. Every boss in this raid gives 125 gold, like most raids. And of course, you can vendor for about the same amount. So you dash again. Wait for the elevator if you don't have an immunity, like Ice Block or Bubble or. Uh oh. And that's why. Elevator boss round two. I win. You win. We all win. Free gold. This next boss can be difficult if you don't have the item level of required, which would be, I'd say, 700. Or depending on your class, it could be lower. But uh, if you have trouble with this boss, save your cooldowns until 30% because that's the only time that he can kill you so the whole first 70 percent of his fight you can just do normal damage at a normal pace and then 37 percent is where you need to burst him through his burst phase where you're capable of dying but because of my item level i don't need to do that so i'm just gonna pop it all at the beginning and kill him real fast when he hits 25 percent as she does it that release all minions and then he Bunch of minions coming out, and he can really, really hurt you. And if you do it like that, you get a a uh, temporary title and debuff called Master Venture Award. And it says, Slayer of Stupid, Incompetent, Disappointing Minions. When you get it, it'll put you in combat. So if you're playing a stealth class, wait until you get it, and then stealth afterwards if you're going to stealth past these mobs here. Otherwise, it'll break your stealth. These, this trash here uh, gives you a damage buff, one of them. This guy here, Core Hammer. When he dies, he will give all the other guys his buff. And every time they die, they pass it on. So you can just group them all up. You will get chain stunned, and as you can see, that's the buff I have now. This one here. And here it is, this nonsense. You sit here for 20 seconds waiting for this crap, unless your dots kill him. Now this boss is very easy to kill. In fact, you can kill him before he touches the ground. And if you do that, then your cooldowns won't reset. So do not pop cooldowns 
until he touches the ground. Otherwise, you won't have them for the next boss. And the next boss, you may want them for. See, he hasn't even engaged me yet. Now the fight has started, and I can pop cooldowns, but what's the point? It's only 20%. Loot him. Dash again. Loot these mobs. Get Claws of Agony. I must have come across 20 Claws of Agony by now. They do not sell. You can may as well just vendor them. This next boss can also hurt if you don't have the damage. If you don't have the damage to kill this boss before he does a massacre, you need to go behind him and speak to this little robot. Not the robot. The guy in the cage. Finkel Einhorn. You talk to him a lot. Go through all this crap. Then he gives you this buff. This buff will make it so you can't be killed if you're above 10,000 health which is nothing. See, so it's very easy to stay above 10,000 health. And that will save you from being killed by the massacre, which we won't see in this video because I'm going to kill the boss before then. There you go. I didn't look at my gold before I started this run, but I think it was about ex a clean 19,000. So I've only made 600 so far, but this is a short raid. One of the four I'll be doing. As you can see, I got dash back for killing that boss. You run over here, talk to the orb. Often you'll pull all this trash. I was lucky I didn't this time. Now this boss is, you fight Anixia and Nefarian. Anixia first, and then you fight Nefarian. Now, if Anixia dies, Nefarian will fly up in the air. If she doesn't die, she will never fly up in the air. So if you can help it, when you get down there, don't put up any dots, don't use any AoE, just bring Anixia down to one health, and just leave her there. So I'm not going to use Rake or Moonfire, nothing like that. Just bring her down. And that way I don't have to bother through all the bother with all the phases of Nefarian. I can just he'll just stay on the ground because Anixia's alive. So you just leave Anixia like that. Don't do any damage. Wait for Nefarian to come down. Here he is. Pop all your cooldowns on them. And so long as I don't do any accidental AoE, Anixia will stay alive at the 1% he's at, she's at. And Nefarian will stay on the ground and Nefarian will die nice and easy. And also, like I did in this video, don't uh, don't pop your cooldowns on Anixia. That'll make this a very slow fight. Anixia dies very easy, very quickly. Nefarian's the pain. And that's that. That is the full clear of Blackwing Descent on 25 man heroic, earning seemingly 765 gold, but we have yet to vendor. So we'll see how much we have after that. It's supposed to be about 1500 gold for the first two, which is Blackwing Descent and Bastion of Twilight. And then Firelands and Dragon Soul give about. 2,000 each. So I was at 19,000. I'm at, it's almost exactly 1,500 as expected. Thanks.